Oh, I'm sorry. It's part of a project I'm working on this summer of, uh, that is called Ghosts, and it's uh, different uh, pictures of uh, these uh, chili peppers that I grew. Um, this, uh, this particular piece has uh, is some prints of, uh, of some chili peppers I grew last summer and painted um, pictures of last winter and this spring. And they're, um, they're printed out at, uh, at the Dudley Erie County Public Library and mounted on these little uh, foam board with magnets attached to the back of them. And, uh, The other parts of the project are the paintings I did, which are, are, uh, I'm showing out at uh, a restaurant out on Main Street until next week called Holy Crate. Uh, the other part of the project is uh, uh, plants in, in pots uh, that I grew from the seeds of the peppers um, and painted some of the pots with uh, more pictures of the same uh, chili peppers. Um, and the other part is some other prints that I have that are uh, Gleasy prints that are in, uh, at my parents' gravesite um, out on Delaware Avenue in Mount Olivet Cemetery. Um, and, um, let's see. Can you talk about why they're um, magnetic? Well, magnetic sure. Yeah, I. Uh, Last year I did a project where I had these small prints as well, and it was suggested that they would make good refrigerator magnets. So I was like, that's a great idea. And this year, you know, I decided, you know, I was still in my head, so I was like, well, you know, I'll make these refrigerator magnets, like kind of things. And the, um, the part of the piece is that it's, um, it's interactive, so I was hoping that people would move the move the prints around and come up with something that looked really good that I hadn't thought of. Um, also, you know, you're welcome to to take one home or outside of the gallery. Uh, a few years ago, I started studying some uh, uh, social practice type of artwork, and you know, I really wanted to make pieces that were more interactive, not just something that you go and look at. Seems like I mean I love that I love that and I love the gallery space where you go somewhere and you don't touch anything you just look at it. Um, but I really wanted to have uh, pieces that look involve the, the the viewer more. So that and you know so I was really happy that you know because I tried to do different pieces like that in the past and you know you can put something up and allow people to actually, uh, you know, paint on it. I've done that in the past, and um, you run into, a, I've run into a problem where I want to have some control, so I don't want someone to completely change my work, uh, and this allows it, it to be changed, but not in such a drastic way that it would be, like, um, like wrecked for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really um, was happy that I have something where people can change it. And I also wanted to have something that was less um, uh, less of a consumer item. So uh, the fact that uh, the, the magnet chili pepper prints are available uh, for people to take with them, you know, without having to buy them, uh, it's kind of... It, it makes me feel more uh, happier with the piece in terms of it not being a, a, a part of our consumer culture, which I think is, uh, you know, sort of uh, doesn't doesn't contribute to our our in general or or you know social life. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that uh, people will move the magnets around, create a better image, uh, also take one home if you want.
on. And um, let's see. The, and uh, if uh, I think that's about all. Is there, oh, I also have some of the plants. If anyone would like one after the after the um, the talks today, I have some plants and painted pots, and just stop and see me after the the show. They're on my car, and, and I'd love to give you one because I, I did about a hundred of plants. That was the other part. I grew seeds from the from the peppers, and I wanted to have a, like an ongoing thing with the, the peppers growing, and uh, so I grew about a hundred plants, and uh, they got it got a little unwieldy for me to mm -hmm. manage, and so I wasn't able to document their growth, but I have a bunch of them, and uh, and uh, so I'd love to give them to anyone who has a good home for them, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, that's about it. Does anyone have any questions? Just why peppers? Well, uh, part of it is the, the whole, like, uh, like I enjoy eating hot peppers, and they're, they, they feel like there's some kind of, um, I also have a friend that, that uh, a close friend that, that, uh, that uh, got me interested in eating hot peppers, and, he was kind of a crazy guy. He's, he's uh, passed away, but, uh, and uh, I kind of miss him a lot. But mm -hmm. they remind me of him. So I see. Do you find that the, the doing something where you're asking the viewers to participate, you need prompts? Because I, I mean, walking by this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of touching it. Well, because I'm in a gallery. And, yeah. You know, that's. Thanks. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, an, a great question. Um, I have a, a, a QR code here, which you know I never use, but but uh, I hear they're big in China, <laughs> um, and it links to a video with more information about my work, it, about this particular piece. Um, I have like videos of they're like sort of like painting videos where you know it, it's just me painting the picture. Um, for like the last few years I've been doing those. Uh, as, and, uh, and in that video I have uh, like sort of instructions <laughs> that, that uh, um, give you information about the piece and also you know, to tell you, you know, if you're within reach of the piece you can move the uh, magnets around and take one home if you like. So, I mean, I feel like Part of part of my work is, uh, you know, I don't I don't like to. I mean, I'd like to. Uh, I mean, I feel like that that in galleries, it's kind of ironic that we go to a gallery and instead of uh, being exposed to new things, we we conform to the way that the gallery is set up and the expectations that like uh, society has on us to um, to behave in a manner that's very conventional and like the whole idea that like you go to a gallery and you're like walking on eggshells because you might do something wrong um, is kind of uh, you know it seems like it's weird it, it seems like art should be more uh, you know there should be more freedom involved in art and, uh, so yeah I, I, and I do struggle a little with with having to, uh, to uh, you know challenge the viewer because I don't like to be challenged. You know, I love I hate going to like a concert and they say, "Okay, everybody clap," and I'm like, "I'm not clapping." You know, <laughs> why can't I do that? You know, but uh, anyway, that's uh, so I kind of mix. You know, I don't know how to deal with it a little bit, but that's why I put the uh, you know, mm -hmm. sort of like instructions. So it's still a matter of the viewer having to go out and take that extra step to figure out what you're trying to do. Right now, yeah. I mean, one of the reasons I'm doing the talk is like, hey, you know, to, to try to try to uh, you know give more more information about the piece. And uh, but yeah, I would like to make it more where people know about things, know how you know. How I would 
like people to interact with it. Um, but I feel like I also kind of want to challenge the viewer to like, do something uh, a little outside of their comfort zone. Did you mention that you're the gold soul? Pardon? The soul at Holy Spirit. I did mention that, darling. There's more peppers out there. Thanks very much, and that's what suggested the magnets to me, my, my wife mocked it. Lovely wife, thanks. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.